um, yeah, I guess what they're asking, we're going to put the questions back in with the others so every candidate has the same opportunity with the, all of the questions. We would like to have um, Ms. Rice, Mr. Grant, and Mr. Porter, if you would uh, come down now. Mr. Grant is not here, so we'll uh, have one minute from Ms. Rice to introduce herself. Good evening. I'm Sharina V. Rice. I'm a candidate for Bessemer City Council District 2. I am the daughter of Dolores and Fred Slaughter, also the granddaughter of Tony and Mahalia Rice. I'm a citizen of Bessemer for um, about 20 years now. I'm happy to be back in the city of Bessemer. I'm looking forward to putting forth action to improve our city and to work with the, uh, the council and the mayor. I also am a business owner. I own Rice Real Estate, DBA Charity First. We've been in Bessemer for approximately two years as a real estate company. Before then, we had a mortgage company here in Bessemer. Um, my grandfather and my grandmother has continuously resided in Bessemer uh, along with my grandparents Willie George Henry and Adele Henry are all lifelong citizens of Bessemer. Okay, Mr. Porter. Good evening. My name is Chester Porter. I am the eldest son of Edward Porter and Brenda Porter. I am a lifelong resident here in the city of Bessemer, Alabama. I am running for city council to bridge the gap. I would like to engage the citizens in what's going on with the local politics. Um, I would like to get uh, the city council to um, get along with one another. Um, I am, again, here to bridge the gap between the citizens and local government. Thank you. Thank you. Now, our first question will be uh, directed at Ms. Rice, and then uh, Mr. Porter will answer the same question. The second question will first be asked to Mr. Porter, and then Ms. Rice will answer. And the third question will reverse that. Ms. Rice, in May 2008, the unemployment rate in Bessemer was 5.7%, which was less than the state average of 5.8%, and slightly higher than the metropolitan average of 4.6%. This is a long question. As of May 2010, the unemployment rate was 13.1 percent, which is, which is significantly higher than both the state average of 10.8 and the metropolitan average of 9.6. And here's the question. How do you plan to work with local businesses and economic development groups to help create more jobs and to put more of Bessemer citizens back to work. Okay. Uh, in regards to the, um, the jobs and the high unemployment rate, the, one, the first thing I think I would do as it relates to economic development is first of all find out what kind of budget we're working with here in the city. And as a result of that, I would like to implement incentives for small businesses and perhaps developers to come into our community that will provide jobs for our community. Also, I would like to encourage um, people to become entrepreneurs, search their gifts out, and see what they can add and bring to the, um, to the community so that we can have the jobs that we need to cut down on our unemployment rate at this time. Okay. Mr. Porter, I'll read the question again. I won't read the whole thing. How do you plan to work with local businesses and economic development groups to help create more jobs and to put more of Bessemer citizens back to work? I would first like to have the small business owners to um, see if they can qualify for government grants, whereas they can employ more people within our city of Bessemer to get good paying jobs. Uh, I would like to also educate um, 
the citizens here of Bessemer in terms of working with their job skills and bringing different business here to the city of Bessemer. Along with that, we know before any business come to the city of uh, the, the city of Bessemer, that they also look at the educational system. So it's a dual partnership. We first have to have a sound education system before any business decide to move here to our city. Thank you. Okay. Next question. And Mr. Porter will answer this question first. If elected, what are your priorities concerning the infrastructure throughout the city? My very first priority in reference to the infrastructure would be before we uh, actually pave our streets, we actually need to um, make sure that the pipes up under our streets are, are in good standing. Uh, it makes no sense to pave the streets and then two or three weeks later we have to go back down and dig and repair the street, the uh, pipes. Um, repairing the pipes and repaving the streets. Also making sure that we have a, a good sound business here in our city. Uh, making sure that uh, we have good uh, government grants to assist uh, people with, getting, with becoming homeowners. Thank you. Okay, and I'll read it again for Ms. Rice. If elected, what are your priorities concerning the infrastructure throughout the city? If elected, um, first of all, after reading a lot to find out about the infrastructure and the paving that's going on with the road, I, I would really go into the, the plan that was introduced that was laid to our gas tax and the road paving to see how could the system that's already in place, how we could advance it to another level. I also would do some of the things that Mr. Porter was just talking about with the, the water and the pipes. We know that much of the District 2 area is um, flood zone, and that's because of the fact that we need to have proper drainage. So I would work to find out how, to contact people that would assist me with find out how we can engineer the pipes and the draining um, system better for our district, and then engage upon doing the paving of the streets and the sidewalks for the children, especially when they're walking to school. That's a big issue um, in our district where the children, when they're walking, we don't have sound, sound sidewalks. Okay, thank you. I feel like I've got Vanna White uh, delivering stuff to me. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Rice, you'll answer this question first. What will you do to assist the Bessemer Police Department to make the city of Bessemer a safer place to live and do business? What I would do to assist the Bessemer Police Department, first is beginning the community. Um, I would implement a plan that I've uh, named CAPS, Community Awareness Program, getting the community involved, allowing them to be more in touch with what's going on in the community. Also, again, it's a budget issue. I would like to see what kind of money is available currently within our city to hire more police um, for the area. And also, I would like to implement a curfew for the younger kids because I think that when you have students or children that's unsupervised that are minors, that could be an issue as far as high crime rate. So I think that would also help in the crime rate. And with that CAPS program, the Community Awareness Program, that will be where the community come together and we will have various people from the community to serve as um, liaisons with the police department and the chief. And then we'll be able to sit down together and discuss the issues that's happening in our community. Thank you. 